as a, as a tribute um, to Secretary Berger, we've all prepared a special demonstration. Can we all see our socks? All of your socks. Show your socks. Started this, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, how many of you wore f fun socks today? Yeah. Yay. Let's see yours. Rules of procedure of the assembly, the secretary's report is received and referred to the reference and council committee without further action of the assembly. It is so ordered. I now invite Secretary Chris Berger and Didi. Yay, that's for face. and Didi, and it's time to join me for the presentation of the Service Day Award. Don't worry. <laughs> and I invite uh, Vice President Bill Horn to join me on the stage. Thank you. The symbolism of the Service Day Award is significant in honoring and expressing appreciation for the officers of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America at the completion of their terms. Today, this award is being presented in recognition of Secretary Berger's leadership within this church and in thankfulness for his six years of service as secretary. In its actions to confer this award upon Secretary Berger, the Church Council approved the following citation. Whereas Secretary William Chris Berger has excelled at preserving the promo and promoting the importance of the law in the life of this church, both in his comprehensive knowledge of the Constitution's bylaws, and continuing resolutions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and in his commanding grasp of the impact of civil law on the mission of the church in the world, all while continuing to pursue with enthusiasm and clarity his life's calling to preach and teach the gospel at every opportunity. Whereas Secretary Berger has fulfilled his constitutional responsibilities as Secretary with attentiveness and care, joining with his predecessors in describing the office of the Secretary as a service unit for the whole Church, and whereas Secretary Berger has helped the three expressions of this Church realize their unique polity and embrace their sense of interdependence, and Whereas Secretary Berger has demonstrated that sense of interdependence in his responsiveness to congregations, his collegiality with members of the Conference of Bishops, Senate officers, and staff, and his open door policy to churchwide colleagues, and whereas Secretary Berger has contributed valuable insight to the boards of 1517 Media, Portico Benefit Services, and the Mission Investment Fund. And whereas Secretary Berger has faithfully read the constitutions of this church monthly, 
and the Augsburg Confession every Lent, and whereas Secretary Berger has embodied not only God's work, our hands, but also God's work, our feet, with his colorful collection of sock apparel, and whereas Secretary Berger, in his proclamation of the word, continually points people to the font that both claims us and sends us, therefore be it resolved that this church expresses its deepest appreciation to Reverend William Chris Berger for the many ways in which he has lived out his vocation in this church through the years, but particularly as secretary of this church, and be it further resolved that the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, upon action of the Church Council, confers upon the Reverend William Chris Berger, Secretary of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, 2013 through 2019, the Service Day Award, and be it further resolved that this Church gives thanks to God for his dedicated servant of the gospel, who in word and deed boldly proclaims, we are Church, we are Lutheran, we are Church together, we are Church for the sake of the world. Now for the unveiling of the award. It's a commemorative hymn titled, No Deeper Well, written by Pastor Paul Hoffman from Seattle, Washington. <laughs> the artist's rendering of the hymn was designed by Laura Norton. Let's join in singing the commemorative hymn, and then we'll give Secretary Berger a chance to respond. The lyrics will be displayed on the screen.
What you don't know is that tune was sung at our wedding as praise to the Lord. It has been in every installation I service I had except the one as secretary of the ELCA, and it has been at every other significant event. So you expect me to talk after that? <laughs> Having been Paul's bishop for 12 years, I think my ministry was just summed up in a way that all I can say is thank you. Thanks be to God, and thank you to his people, you.